right, use my body as a bit of a wind blocker. Windy mopo out here. As you can tell, I'm in open water. Super excited about it. Not the ideal wind direction for this top secret location. A couple of Swedish pebbles tied up. Thomas in the truck and tied up. I was just like, put away. Way too excited to get out and do some fishing. Fishing for salmon and trouts. Oh, it just feels really good to be in the water. I was so excited, thought about just skipping the intro and getting right into the fishing, but can't do that. But I'm gonna wrap this intro up, get out, hopefully catch a fish. Hey, a little white on pearl, maybe white on white. Actually, chrome. What do I got on here? Okay, chrome on pearl, size seven Swedish pimple. Swedish pimple is my all-time go-to salmon bait for this type of ordeal. I don't want to wait out too far. There is a big drop-off right out here, but the waves might go over the waders. Give her a good chunk of time to sink down the old bottom. Every now and again, you do get hit on the way down. Check my drag. Pretty good. Couple of pumps, let it sink a little bit. Should be turned the other way so you guys don't know where my top secret location is. Here comes good old Thelma. Honkers over there. Maybe we'll get one of them. Out here dodging icebergs. <laughs> Trying to take me out. Maybe I can sit on them. Worst possible wind direction. Oh! I'm so excited. Just head across the Grand Canyon to get over here. All right, I'll go this way. <laughs> is it heafy? Oh, yeah, this is also the first fish I've caught on my steelhead rod. <laughs> it's so much fun, isn't it? Can I see why we fish on constantly? This might not be a, might not be a yo-ho. Come splake, I bet, or burbot. Possibly another sturgeon. Staying down, he's digging. I thought, like, God dang, what am I snagged on? Set the hook, I'm like, oh my God, it's moving. That's not possible. Did you see it? No. That was cute. I was looking for it, but I didn't see it. Ah! Sorry, good sign, get back. Then I just whipped you in the face when I did my little my little temper tantrum there. I don't know, I think that was a splake. He was staying down. That was a decent fish, probably a 20 pounder. Ugh. All right, well, this is my spot. You can't have it. <laughs> I wish the wind was coming more parallel. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of is. Oh my God, there's fish here. <sighs> Finally calmed down a little bit after losing the first open water fish of the year. Had a plan. I was going to let the first one go after I landed it, but he was about 10 feet away. Didn't get to see him, but let him go. So if we get another one, might have to keep that one. Nice salmon dinner. I'm feeling that was a splake though. He felt a little, little heavy to be a coho. Holes are running a little small this year. Not sure why the GoPro decided to, decided to stop. Uh, just gonna keep fishing away in this beautiful weather we got. Hopefully, hopefully we get the chance to lose another one. Uh, swapped out GoPro batteries. That one was down to three percent, which means if I would have hooked in another fish, I would have probably got the hook set. Nothing else. Sent 
coming down a little further. Still got a good feeling about this spot. I mean, we waited all the way from down there to out here, and this was our first fishing encounter. So, when you find fish, you don't ever want to leave fish. Water's about 33, maybe 33 and a half degrees right now. Wind's about 180 miles an hour. Snowing a little bit. Just a beautiful, beautiful day to be out fishing. Hopefully, we'll actually put one in the net. That last one was pretty close to the bottom. I'm thinking it was probably a splake. Maybe a sturgeon, hard to say. <laughs> yeah, that's what I know. I wasn't sure if I just knocked it or. Got a big one. Four footer. <laughs> that was bound to happen eventually. I just didn't want to stick it straight in my ass, but. I'll slide her down a bit. I'll, I'll swing it to the other side. Yeah, that was good. No more fishy encounters for what feels like forever. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's even hard to tell with polarized sunglasses due to the lack of sun. I'm standing right on the edge would drop off in about knee deep water, going straight down to probably about 20, 25 feet of water. Could be a little early yet. Fish could just not be active. Definitely better to be out here than sitting on the couch, so I will tell you that for free. Fish for probably another hour or so. Hopefully at least hook into one, maybe get a nibble. Preferably land one. Kind of doing a slow walk and stalk casting method here. Back to where I had the first little nibble. On our mm, 60, 70 yards up here. Maybe we'll get him again. Definitely stung him on the first go around, but maybe, maybe he forgot by now. Kind of the worst possible wind direction. You can tell we're fishing out along this break wall. Wind's coming parallel and a little in. Ideally, you want the wind coming straight from that direction. You get kind of protected by the break wall. And if the wind's cooking, as soon as your lure gets up in the air, you get probably an extra 10, 15 feet on your cast. And it makes working these baits a heck of a lot easier than when you're working your bait and your line's got a heck of a curve to it due to the wind and the waves, but we're making the best of it. Definitely uh, regretting not putting double woolies on the feet. Standing in 30, 33, 30, probably 33 degree water. Definitely a little cold, even in the duck waders. But we're still optimistic that uh, something's gonna happen. We were probably another down by that ice, 
Bamba decided to leave his tackle box down where we started and uh, casted the only Swedish pimple he had with him off. <laughs> had to walk all the way back down there and get a new one. Slowly but surely making my way back, back over yonder. Maybe get into something. I have a theory with the wind blowing in straight into this corner down here that potentially the water might be a little warmer. Might be holding the, the main concentration of the of the fish, the other than the one that we've uh, encountered out here. Hoping to make something happen. <laughs> 